Hey KU fans, thanks for logging on to KUSports.com for another episode of KU Sports Extra. I'm Matt Tate, this is Tom Keegan, we're at Allen Fieldhouse where KU with really no awful travels tonight. Knocked off no. Texas Tech, 85-68, to in a game that I honestly was surprised they got to 85. It did not have that feel when the game started throughout most of the first half. The next thing you know, they make a bunch of shots to close the game, and they have 85 points. Yeah, and Chris Beard, who you wrote a good story on this week, has known Self forever, as yeah. you pointed out. And he knows Self, and he told his team, look, they're coming off a couple of bad defensive efforts. They're going to be really motivated to have a great defensive game because Bill Self is going to motivate them to have a great defensive game. And he did, and they did. Yeah. You know, they can't do some of the things defensively that they have in the past because they don't have that front court depth. So you can't just foul guys to keep them from scoring. Right. You <laughs> Which he stay would out of foul yeah. trouble. Yeah, he's had those teams where I asked him about it tonight, and he said, yeah, that, that was a way that uh, the coach was able to keep the players happy sure. because they'd get in foul trouble. Oh, we have to play yeah. you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you have five guys who are about as good as each other. No doubt. Yeah, that was cool, and especially cool for a first-year coach in a conference to know another team and another coach yeah. that well, to know and to tell his guys, yeah, we're walking into a buzzsaw. And they did. This team, this defense was so good in the beginning, especially the first half. They got active. They were in the passing lanes. They got steals. They got dunks. They got transition points that, that just fired up the building. I mean, I mean, that's Kansas defense, right? I mean, that, that's, oh, yeah. that's what we're used to seeing. That's how they're used to playing. And it, it's sort of strange that they haven't played that way all year. But maybe this was the thing. And maybe Bill Self calling them out after that case game is what they needed. Right. And they don't have a traditional shot blocker. But Josh Jackson got a couple on yeah. consecutive possessions. Landon Lucas got a couple. Landon Lucas played terrific defense. Not yeah. that he was a shot blocker or shot alter. But man, he stopped a lot of penetration. He's a great help defender. He was terrific tonight. And obviously, Frank Mason, who's shooting 523. That's 523 <laughs> from three point range. That puts him in the top 10 in the nation. Such an efficient player. Just an amazing night. Is That floater of his. No floater. chips. No chips. Yeah. It's unbelievable. What is he, two points away from tying Wilt well, Chamberlain? Right, so okay, he's he opens the game with a three-pointer, he's past Wilt Chamberlain. See you, Wilt. Unbelievable. Well, right? wait a minute. Wilt didn't play In two all games, and they didn't have long seasons. And and they, yeah, no. Maybe the greatest basketball player of all time. Frank? No. <laughs> <laughs> Wilt. But, but Frank, I love watching a four-year player. It's yeah. a real treat, especially... A guy who just gets better every year and then as a senior just explodes. Yeah, I think the most interesting thing to watch for now is where do they go from here? It was easy. Chris Beard knew it. Self knew it. The players knew it. It was easy to predict that they would come out with that kind of intensity. Are they going to have it Tuesday at Norman when they take on a bad Oklahoma team? That's the question now, I think. Can they yeah, do that when and they're not And it's tougher to out? stay out of foul trouble on the road. That's sure. just the truth. That's sure. just the way it is. And But against Oklahoma, doesn't have a real good inside game out. Yeah. Latin's a real good complimentary player, but when you ask him to be your best right. inside guy, then things get a little bit. You lose six in a row, something <laughs> like that. But, yeah, it'll be interesting. Baylor did win today. They should be number one on Monday when the new polls come out. I got to think even against Oklahoma, even though they don't play Baylor for a long time until February, that's going to be a motivating factor. Look, Baylor's the best team in the country. Look, Baylor's the best team in this league. And I think Bill Self will push all those buttons and keep this team motivated that way. He's the master of that stuff. Any final thoughts on this game? The final thoughts are that Frank Mason, Bill Self said it. He said All-American, first team All-American. He said he has an unbelievable case for it. The numbers back it up, KU's record backs it up. There's nothing that doesn't back it up at this point in the season. He continues to play this way. There's no way he's not a first team all American. It'll be tough to continue with this sure. pace because he's playing 35 minutes a game in 12 of the 15 games he's played 35 minutes or more. But my goodness, he is just continuing to do it night after night. 26 points tonight, 20 for Devontae Graham in his best scoring night of the season, and then 17 from Jackson. That three-headed monster, that's that's going to be hard to beat no matter how they play defensively. I think part of it is that. They know they can outscore teams, so they do it.
if they pair that defense that they play tonight with that kind of scoring, they're right there. Obviously, they're already ranked number three, but yeah, they'll, they'll be there all year. For Tom Keegan, I'm Matt Tate. Thanks for checking out this episode of KU Sports Extra. We will talk to you guys next time from another KU game, 14-1 and 3-0 in the Big 12.